Hey guys, Tammy here, and I got my baby Daryl with me today, okay, and we are not at a drive through we are at somewhere that you guys have been bothering me about for a while, Tammy, try Panera Breads, Tammy, try Panera Breads, so guess where we are today, Panera Breads, okay, before we get started, is... Panera Bread, are they known for their breads? Baby, I don't know nothing about Panera Bread. I ate there one time, probably 15 years ago, and it was expensive as hell, so I never went back. Okay. Until I had this little sweet girl come through the meet and greet uh, the other day and go, Tammy, I've been telling you to try Panera Breads forever and you haven't yet. So I told her I would do it, so I'm here. Before we get started, I want to thank you guys for making my new calendar the best selling calendar I've ever done. Daryl, we have already, within the last week, sold more calendars this week than we did all of last year. Are they are they are they now available at, at Barnes and Noble's uh, uh, X rated uh, locations? I'm still working on that. <laughs> I'm still working on that as of right now. You can only get them on my website, eatmytrash.com. Okay, and I will put the link down in the description. Get your Tammy calendar. Christmas is coming up. Get it as a gift or for yourself. Well, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, absolutely. And it is X-rated. Don't think if you're, you know, a, a junior high principal, you can buy it and put it in your office. That ain't going to cut it. Well, it would have to be your at-home office. Right. Right. Second thing before we get started... My baby Daryl has been posted on his YouTube channel. Well, yeah, weekly. Weekly. So please go follow him. I will put the link down below. Subscribe to him. If you're watching this and you support my channel, go support Daryl's. Okay? I would appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Now, Panera Breads. Okay, first off, I got these little lemonades. This is maybe a uh, passion fruit lavender. It said lavender, but I don't know what else was in there. And this was citrus, not lemonades, teas. Try that, baby. Maybe it was lemonades. I don't know what I ordered. Ooh, that's good. That's kind of like hibiscus or something. Kind of like what? <laughs> Has biscuits? I don't even know what you're talking about. Biscuits? I don't like that. That was gross. No, this is the one I'll be sipping. That was gross. This one's good. Mm. All right. So, here's what I did. Don't even really know what I ordered. I just got a few things. I figured they would be good. Let's see what I ordered. You know, usually like sandwich places, uh, they would have like soups. Do these oh. places, do this place have soups? First off, we got little potato chips. Hmm. And there's just a piece of bread in there. And we got a piece of bread. Hmm. And another little potato. Okay. <laughs> and by the way, Oh, blueberry lavender lemonade, citrus punch lemonade. So, the order was $47. Mm. Here's, here's what also I got. Oh! I wonder if they got any butter in there. This is the grilled cheese. They had some fancy limited edition grilled cheese called Kickin', Kickin' Grilled Cheese. So, we're going to try that. I also got, now, now this is going to be hit or miss. Also got a tuna salad sandwich. I love tuna salad sandwiches. If you follow me on Instagrams and the TikToks, you guys know I'm always cooking my tuna salad sandwiches, making my, my sandwiches. I'm posting about that. Mm. Now, restaurants, mm. I have yet to find a tuna salad sandwich better than mine at home. Have you seen the tuna salad sandwiches that have like apple or grape in them? 
Like I've seen them do it. Yeah, I don't do all that. And then we got, check this out. Now this packaging is nice. This is nice. This is almost worth the $47. They do have soup. Baby, I got us a broccoli cheddar and a mac and cheese to try. Ooh. Check that out. I'm gonna open it up for them. Well, hold on, I'll, before we get started, I wanna talk about something. You don't, we don't have to, we don't have to. No, cause I know he's watching. S say it. My grandma's boyfriend, Sam, if you're watching this, we all got, we got into a fist fight before, right before this mukbang. As we were walking out the door to come do this mukbang. I'll tell you what, if I get the opportunity to knock the ash off these knuckles again, I'll do it. I know, baby. I know. I know. So, long story short, my grandma started dating this idiot named Sam. They've been dating a few weeks, okay? He thinks so, he... Well, he moved in, been living off of her, but that's a, that's that's beside the point, okay? Well, we'll Don't get a job, Sam! So anyway, we're walking out the door to go do a mukbang, and my granny goes, where are you going? I thought we are going to go do a mukbang down at uh, Panera Breads. And uh, she said, but Daryl just ate breakfast. And before this, we were talking about Thanksgiving plans. Who's coming? What are we having? Uh... You know, and, and Daryl said, oh, I want a baked turkey and a fried turkey. And Sam put in his little two cents, two turkeys? And I said, yeah, two turkeys. So anyway, I let that go. I let that go. So anyway, maybe they can't see the top of your head. There you go. So anyway. Two turkeys, four legs. Two turkeys, four legs. So anyway, I let that go, whatever. So we're walking out the door, and uh, Grady says, well, Daryl just had breakfast. And Sam butts in and goes, huh, yeah. On Thanksgiving, we better lock him up in the bedroom till everybody's eating so everybody gets a chance to eat. <laughs> but, but you know what was... And I said, you shut the hell up. We're not locking my baby up for nothing. Especially on Thanksgiving. We're I'm, not locking him up. I mean, the audacity to say... Everybody's got to have seconds before I get unlocked out of the room. Yeah, they said everybody needs to go back for seconds before Daryl comes out. I said, you're out of your fucking mind. If you think I'm locking Daryl up when there's a whole a whole spread of food out there. I'm, I mean. And we're supposed to be spending time with family. And we're locking him up. We could do without Sam being there. A absolutely. And it, so anyway, I got pissed off. And I got in his face. And I said, don't you ever say you're locking Daryl up again. How about I lock you up? And then, when he gets in my face saying the same thing I'm saying to him. He's repeating me. He goes, how about we lock you up? Well, that set Daryl off. I mean. <laughs> that set Daryl off. I let, I let out the Tell him. I, Tell him. I let out the fist of fury on Sam. And listen, my baby don't fight. My baby, look, these knuckles. Come here, baby. These knuckles. They look scary. They look scary. Come here. Be, they're all tensed. I know. It, it doesn't bend it's right. Sore. Yeah, oh, it's sore. Man. They look scary. Look at that from the side. They look scary. He's not scary. But you mess with me. So get my strong hand. So Daryl goes over there and they start getting in a fist fight. Well, look who's not bloody. Look who won. <laughs> I was just toying with him. And Daryl was just barely, you know, just not really hurt, wanting to hurt him, but wanting to show him, hey, you don't you don't come into this family and dictate who gets to eat and who don't. Right. Haven't you ever seen those videos of guys in Russia that they're wrestling with bears? I mean, he was like the guy and I was the bear and I was just toying with him, playing with him. You know, at any time I could have ripped his head off. You could have, but you didn't. You didn't, because Granny was over in the corner going, oh, Daryl, stop. She was crying. And I said, I, I got upset. I said, Daryl, stop. But I know he watches all of our mukbangs. So, Sam, we're not locking Daryl up. You know what you're going to start calling him? Two Cent Sam. You ain't got two cents. But he always wants to butt in. And this is our family. You don't get to come in 
and after a couple weeks, start making rules and suggestions. I bet he was banished from his own family. And that's why he's here. Yeah. The audacity and arrogance. All right. Let's try the soup. <laughs> now, I love a good broccoli cheddar soup. Mm. Okay, it says Cozy Fields. Oh, it smells good. You get that broccoli smell. Okay. Oh, yes, you do, baby. Remember when you eat a lot of broccoli sometimes when you pee? Baby. Come on. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, this is good. It don't need salt or nothing. No. I bet, you know what? Mm. Take a couple of those bits of the bread and just dip them in there. Mm. Can you hand me the bread? Mm. I'll hold this for you. This don't need no bread to me. It's cheddary. It's got little carrots in there. It does. That's cute. Okay. There we go. I'll show them how I'm doing it. I've never had a broccoli cheddar soup with carrots in See there. See that? I block it from falling and dripping with the other bread. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's creamy. Mm. It's creamy. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, I, I want to double dip so bad. Go ahead, baby. It's just me and you. I mean, you ate my ass last night. <laughs> my baby ate my ass last night. I took three helpings of that. I don't worry about double dipping, baby. Come on. Mm. Mm. And you were a little puffed up down there. What do you mean? It was a little puffy down there, and so. That's, that's why you said, why is your tongue so rough? I actually put some sugar on my tongue and rimmed you. And it's supposed to help the swelling go down. I've been having the shits the last couple of days. That's my swollen. All right. Do you wipe that hard? Baby, stop. Let's answer a question that you guys asked. All right. On my Instagrams. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay. Tammy, <clears throat> if you suddenly won the lottery, what would be your first move? Oh, I'll tell you what. What? Mm. I'd buy. Actually, I'd renovate your van. Hold on. You know. Panera Bread's got their own brand of chips. This ain't Lay's or nothing. This is Panera brand chips. Hmm. They're cool. kettle, they're kettle cooked. Wow. Okay, go ahead, baby. I'd renovate your your your, your van. I'd make sure that the brakes will uh, uh, when you apply the pedal, it stops. When you excite the ignition, it cranks. When you rev it up, it don't smell like it's leaking gas, and leave a trail of oil so you can find your way home. I'd make sure it was pristine as, as much as I could. That's what I would do for you. And I would I would put that, that uh, was it Duckfield uh, comforter in the back? So if it ever left you stranded, you'd stay warm? I'd go to Cattleman's Steakhouse. And I'd get that big old, uh, what's the steak with the bone sticking out that we can never get? Oh, Timberwolf? A Timberwolf. Yeah. And I'd go there, and I'd take everybody with me, the whole family, and I'd say, hey, dinner's on me. I won the lottery. That would be nice. That would be nice. Do you think Do you think that would settle some of our problems with some of our family? Or it would just make them worse? It would settle everything, because everybody would want a piece of the money so they'd kiss our ass. These are pretty good. I don't like thick chips, though. All right. We gotta try this But you cheese. like thick hips. Let's try this grilled cheese. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm still gonna eat on this. This kick, is wow. this okay? Go ahead, baby. This chicken grilled cheese. Oh, it smells. Should we do a thumbnail, baby? It smells. Mm, good, mm-hmm. Okay. Let's do a thumbnail. Do we want, it feels cozy. We okay. feels cozy. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Scoot over. Got it. Mm. All right. First off, this is basically two little sandwiches in one. Yeah. Look at that. So is every sandwich you get two sandwiches in one? I don't know. 
after you pull this apart. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now I don't know what's on here. Some sort of sauce, cheese. Now the little bread is very buttery. Mm. Here we go. Wait, wait. There's sauce on there. The don't know. Mm. Don't eat all that. Wipe your beard. Mmm. Mmm. I was planning on. Mmm. That's the thing, Daryl. You don't plan on it, but you zone out while you're eating it, and next thing you know, it's all gone. You don't complain when it's either your back side or your front side. I ain't never seen you say stuck. You're right about that. You've tasted too much. Okay. Let me take a bite of this one. It's very good. Ooh. Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get a The sauce is almost like a ranch. I, I did taste either a pickle or something in there. <laughs> There is pickle it's in there. Pickles. It's very good. Lots of cheese. They really thicked it up with the cheese. They didn't skip. So good on them for not doing that. The bread's very good. The bread's soft. Thick. Mm. Buttery. If you put if I put butter between my cheeks, would you, you know? No. Daryl's been doing everything in his power to get me to eat his ass. <laughs> Butter ain't gonna do it. That was pretty I'll good. Have, I'll have one Go ahead, baby. I like I like these ends. I like crust. You know how some people love the crustables? There's no crust. How come they call it crustables with no crust? It's a play on words because there's no crust. All right, let's see here. This is a good one. Daryl, do you ever get intimidated by Tammy's beauty? No, I'm infatuated. She's uh, got an aura. Sit back, baby. I got an aura and uh, an essence. You know, I mean. Keep going. Haven't you ever seen those prized show horses? They just trot out. He's always said that about me. And I said, you he know. He said, baby, you're my prized show horse. Right? Sometimes I like to rein it in a little bit, you know. Sometimes he likes to mount me. Have we never done reverse cowgirl? Well, you have. I haven't. I have because I'm the one doing it. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you like it when I neigh? I don't like it, but if that's what you like, that's fine. Does that make sense? It don't do nothing for me, but it's fine if you do it. You get what I'm saying? Do people get turned off by that? Is that like, do they think that's like nasty? Baby, I don't know. I ain't worried about other people's opinions. Are you kidding me? I got enough to worry about. You gonna worry about them? Mm. Just try it with the bread, maybe? Just see? It may be worth it. All right. Mm -hmm. I could better just regular. Oh, oh, here's that mac and cheese. Mac, let me do it. Mac and cheese. Okay. Mmm. Right off the bat, looks very creamy. I didn't, I didn't get a real good whiff. Can you do it one more time? Looks very creamy. Got yeah, some on my nose. I've never had their mac and cheese. The noodles are thick. The noodles are thick. Get a close up of that. Check them thick noodles out. Hold on. Check these thick noodles out. Thick. Are those shells? Yeah, they're little shells. Oh. Ready?
not as good as I thought they were going to be. They need salt. They're lacking flavor. Okay, here we go. But I like the big shells. I know. There's going to be a lot of people up in arms about that. About what? Because I didn't actually touch. Well, and, and you're not... And, and you're really only supposed to tap solid things. And I guess that kind of is a solid, but it's also got liquid on it. So that's up to you if you want to mm. get your finger dirty. You know what? With a little bit of salt. It needs salt. That's what I'm saying. Salt. That's what I'm saying. It needs salt. Ooh, you know what else would be good on this? Huh. Crushed red pepper. You know, like you put on your pizza? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to have one more bite. I mean, I've had better, and I've had worse. The lemonade is good. This one, I don't say it's growing on me, but I'm thirsty. All right. Tammy, Daryl, how do you achieve your guys' hairstyles? I'm genuinely curious. Great yep. question. So we'll say this: we're both very natural. We don't really, we don't really do our hair before we mukbang or anything. I feel like a lot of people, with the amount of followers we have, would have a glam team doing their hair and makeup before. This is how we woke up. We're authentic. You know what I mean? I just woke up this way. My hair naturally grows this way. No false advertisement. No, not at all. Baby, show him your hair. This is my baby's hair. See, he's bald on top. See how it grows in? And then he gets it cut here on the sides and then show him the back. And then, it, and then, it, and then it's long in the back. It's called a skull it. Because he's got a skull on top. And then the it's back here. And no, I wasn't born this way. No. It just uh, happened to uh, grow that way. Genetics, and I've been telling my baby he needs to get, uh, needs to get a rat tail. But he's too scared. He wants, he likes a skull. It is his little comfort blanket. It is. It covers up my neck. You know. Right. So it doesn't get too cold in the winter and too red in the summer. Right. He knows what he's doing. So yep. honestly, there's no. And you know, think about it. If in the summertime and I just have a rat tail, people are going to think I have rat tail fever. Right. My neck's going to be all red and blistered. I know. I know. We don't want to do that. And I know that. So here's here's what we're thinking. Touch the brakes, baby. Touch the brake. There you go. Um, if you're thinking, oh, they must have a team of people doing their hair, um, blow drying it for them, and putting all these serums in it. Sorry to burst your bubble. The only serum that I put on you is man-made and hand-delivered. He's not wrong either. All right. Tuna sandwich. <laughs> here we go. My little tuna pie over here. Either it's going to be amazing. Oh, it comes with a pickle. Ooh. Comes Ooh, with a pickle. That pickle is right. Comes with a pickle. Let's see what's on here. Okay. Oh. Here you go, baby. It's got a... It's got an aroma. You got your tuna salad. You got your tomatoes and you got your lettuce. I'm tapping. Okay. Here I go. Oops. I didn't I didn't do it right. My hand, my mine, mine looks all messy. You me show them still. Oh. Go ahead, baby. Well, they already saw yours, so mine's the other half of hers. Okay. Here's my thoughts on this. It's good. Yeah, I if agree. You're, if you're in a if you're in a hunch for a, a tuna sandwich, 
and there's Panera Breads nearby. It's good. Is it better than mine? Absolutely not. I think it needs some more spices. It needs maybe some onion powder, some garlic powder. It needs a little crunch in there. There's nothing crunchy in there. Yeah. But it's good. Well, look at that. Does that what does that remind you of? My baby. My mm. baby's wiener. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad you don't bite mine like that. Mm. The tuna sandwich is good. I, I will say that. It's just not how I do mine. Right. Mm. Is there another question? Mm-hmm. Timmy, Daryl, how's the food? Well. As a whole. I would rate it as a positive experience. Or do you want to rate it from like one to ten? One to ten. Okay. You ready? I'll count on three. Wipe mouth. One, two, two three, three, seven point five. All right. The grilled cheese was really good. Yeah. That would have been better fresh out the oven. Right. The soup was amazing. Yes. The lemonade was good. The mac and cheese was three out of ten. The tuna sandwich, five out of ten. It was good. Now, am I going to be hankering for... Panera breads? No, maybe for the soup. Yeah, I would I would hanker for the soup. But I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna hanker for another sandwich. Um, then the chips they're just your <laughs> basic kettle kettle chips, nothing to write home about. Right. Um, yeah, M add some seasoning to the to the mac, definitely, um, and some more crunch to the uh, tuna sandwich. I got some seasoning and some crunch for you. Mm. Remember when you used to stuff croutons in there? I haven't done that in a while. My baby loves croutons though. So anything anything your partner likes, just put it in you. They'll eat it straight out. <laughs> They'll eat it straight out. You guys, that concludes our mukbang. Hey, where should we go next? Please let us know. And be sure to let us know. Let us know and go Subscribe to Daryl's channel, okay? And get your Tammy calendar. And the, Great gift. Christmas is coming up. Get it before uh, Christmas is here. Hey, guess what? Christmas, that was me looking around the corner. Around the corner. Before you know it. Get a jump start. I mean, Thanksgiving is yeah. just days away. Yes. And so you know how fast the transition from Thanksgiving to Christmas is. Get your Tammy calendar. Stop buying stupid gifts for your family. They don't want the stupid gifts. They want something cool. Be prepared. And my boobs are in here. Be prepared <laughs> to finish out 2024 with the bang. Yeah. And start 2025 off right. Exactly. Because those titties bring you love and light. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. All right, guys, we love y'all. I'll put all the information down below. Subscribe here. If you're watching my channel and not subscribing, what the hell are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. Don't be dumb. You're just moving through life with no direction. So, Don't watch my videos and not be subscribed. It's going to piss me off. You be sure to subscribe. Love you guys. Oh, and I want to give a shout out to the people who put our mukbangs up on the screen, on the TV screen, and they sit in their living room and watch them. We love you and we appreciate you. Thank you all. And if you're watching on our phone, too. Okay? Yeah. We love you guys. Thank you for the support. We'll see you later. All right. Bye. Bye.